Well, it's been a little while since we've done a video in this type of format, which is really interesting. You know, I've just been so distracted with the whole You Down, You Lose series, and then there's been like the video essays and stuff. So if you don't know, I used to do a series in the format of this, which is there are like 54 different zombie maps from Treyarch alone, and that's including all of the remakes. The idea with this series is that I essentially just spin the wheel, the wheel chooses a map for me, and then I play it and just kind of talk about whatever I want to talk about. And so I used to do it quite often. I used to upload it, you know, like three times a week, but you know, I just got so distracted with everything else that we were doing on the channel. But I think for the time being, while Lucky Sevens and I take a little break from the uh, You Down, You Lose series, we're just going to continue with going on with the, uh, the random map series. Whew, gotta make sure I don't die there. That's ooh, a sneaky little area. I'm glad that we started on the right side because ultimately I want to get to the other side of Quick Revive there. And that's where my training area is going to be. But yeah, October is just around the corner. That's spooky season in, uh, <laughs> in case you're unaware for whatever reason. And last year during spooky season, I, uh, I streamed a lot of horror games and I absolutely plan on doing that again this year. And so ultimately my main question for you guys is what horror games do you want to see me play? There are a lot of really cool indie horror games. There's a lot of AAA horror games that I could play. You know, I've got a few on my PlayStation. I could also go on Steam and see if there's anything. So if you have any recommendations for some really cool horror games that we could play during spooky season for those live streams, just leave them in the comments. I would love to hear them. Maybe I'll create another wheel if there are a lot of recommendations and I'll just kind of spin that and then we'll stream whatever game the wheel picks. I, I don't really know what we're going to be doing specifically for the amount of games that we have to play but i know that we absolutely are going to be checking out some good horror games during october live streaming them if you're interested in that be sure that you subscribe so that you can stay up to date with that get notified when we go live and while we're at it make sure you uh drop a like on the video your guys' support has been immaculate lately so thank you guys so so much for that i i can't really thank you enough i'm also just realizing how much ammo i actually have did i pick up a max ammo i don't even remember oh well that's fine let's get up there and uh turn on power shall we make sure we get our points of course all right and then while i'm here i might as well hit the box i know that i need to go buy pa uh, not pack a punch quick revive here but you know whatever Ooh, it's like the best gun in the game, probably. That's <laughs> that's really good. Very nice. So speaking of Verruckt, this is actually a really good, you know, map for the wheel to choose for me today, considering that Spooky Season is just around the corner. Because this map is horrifying. Clearly on purpose. I mean, it comes from an era when zombies was mostly about horror in general, trying to scare you versus, you know coming up with the most immaculate Easter eggs that the developer is capable of coming up with. Any other zombies yet? There's you. Just trying to kill them all before I get the nuke, you know? Probably on this side. Oh, the nuke's gone! No! No! You. I should have just, uh, whatever. Anyway, I just wanted to take a moment here to thank you all so, so much for the support that you showed for my mob video. The video essay that I did about how Mob saved the zombies, you know, franchise. You guys absolutely crushed that like button. And we gained so many subscribers to the community, to the channel. So let me once again just take this moment to thank you so, so much. If you haven't checked it out already, I'll have one of those pins at the top right hand corner for you to click on. Make sure you finish this video first, of course. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for the support on that video. That was just unreal. You know, like I knew that I had a gem of a video on my hands because Typically, when you're making a video like that, you can usually tell when you have something special, when you've created something, you know, really unique. And not that that, you know, video essay is unique or anything, but overall, I could just tell that I had created something, you know, perhaps one of the best videos I've ever made in my entire life. And unfortunately, the way it works in the whole, like, YouTube creator space is that if you have a video that you think is your best video you've ever made, typically that means it won't get any views and that's that's just kind of the way that the cookie crumbles if you have something good you have something special it is not going to perform well that is just the way it is but in this case that you know wasn't the case a lot of the support that actually came from that video was because of the you know 
videos that I posted on TikTok. And so we brought a lot of the community over from that platform specifically. And so if you did come from TikTok, be sure to leave a comment. Let me know that you actually came from that platform. It'd be really cool to kind of identify those who, who came from that platform versus people who found it naturally on this site. Um, I'm working on a new video essay right now. Um, I did a poll a few days ago and I was just asking what map my next video essay should be about. And uh, if you already checked out that poll, then you know who the winner was, but I'll go ahead and let you know here now, of course. Uh, Shadows of Evil won that poll, which to be honest, I was not expecting. I was absolutely expecting Transit to win that poll. And to my astonishment, Shadows of Evil somehow took away the win. Not that I'm complaining, Shadows of Evil is like my second favorite zombie map of all time, but... I was just super shocked that, you know, people chose that over transit. So spoiler alert, my next video essay will indeed be about Shadows of Evil. If all goes well, that should be out Friday. So make sure that you subscribe to be notified. Turn the bell icon on so that you won't miss it. So I'm super excited about that. It, it looks like it's turning out to be like one of the longest videos I've ever uploaded to the channel, which is really cool. I mean, it seems that like, you know, I, I put my heart and soul and mind and blood and tears into those videos. I just sink everything that I possibly have into them. And so it's really cool when people show them support when they perform the way that you hope that they'll perform and it just feels great you know what I mean gotta make sure I hit this box again because I want to make sure that you know I get some decent guns here um the BRM you know what I'll take that oh and Heliator might as well I, I suppose uh let's go to this and see if we can get some decent perks what are we getting what are we getting Deadshot Daiquiri I'm gonna pass on that ah ah oh no this is not good how, why did I put myself in this position? BRM, save my life. You better help me. Wow, BRM actually coming in clutch here. But the reload speed, uh-oh, this might, this might hurt us. Jeepers, if only I had these skills during our You Down, You Lose series. Woo! That was sick. All right, stamina up. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say no on that. I'm gonna say no on that. To be honest, it probably would cost me less if I just ran over there and bought speed cola. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do that. I think that was a wise decision. Oh, take a look at this Easter egg. Ooh, little doll, little doll. I'm pretty sure it's Richtofen. Yeah, it is. It's a Richtofen toy from Origins. So listen, if y'all didn't know, I actually have a Discord server, which is super cool. We have a, an amazing community of really awesome, tight-knit people on there. Um, if you'd like to join, be sure to click that link in the description. It'll take you right to the invite. And over there, I just send out announcements as to when I go live, because unfortunately, not everyone gets that notification on YouTube for some reason. I understand it's an issue that they've been trying to work out for a long time, but it's still just frustrating. So if you'd like to get a proper notification of when I go live, be sure to join the Discord channel. I tag at everyone in the announcements channel. And then if you want, you can take that announcements channel and bring it into your own Discord server so that you'll get notified no matter if it be my server or your server. But over there, we also just have lots of fun. We send memes and, you know, we have a, we have a nice community of some really awesome people. So if you would like to join, then be sure to do so. Another really cool thing that I do, and this is just kind of like a personal thing that I do. Every single year during the month of October, I watch one horror movie a day for a total of 31 horror movies. And I like to add some stuff that I have seen before. I like to add some stuff that I haven't seen before. And sometimes I always find just like steaming piles of hot garbage. And sometimes I find some stuff that actually is super awesome and blows my mind away. With that being said, do you have any horror movies that you could recommend and I'm not looking for like your traditional conjuring universe type crap I'm looking for some stuff that maybe I've never seen before what are some interesting and unique horror movies that you've seen that maybe I haven't be sure to leave those in the comments I'm always looking for really good movie recommendations and I have a feeling that the YouTube comment section is probably gonna bring up some crazy stuff I've never seen before, and so I think that'd be pretty cool. Whip out that Inhiliator, considering I have it. Oh, on round nine, it's doing well, doing well. Ooh, my man up there, blood-curdling scream. I don't know if he's having the best of days. <laughs> All right, very nice. So yeah, this is just a really interesting format of video that I used to do quite a bit. Took a break from it from you know, focusing more on live streams, focusing more on the Down You Lose series. Be sure to drop a like on the video if you haven't already. It would truly mean the world. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be about it. All right, take care.